find the trig function values for 11 pi over 6. Okay, solution. So whenever you have a problem like this, you first have to find the reference angle for your angle that's given. So where is 11 pi over 6? Well, we can think of 2 pi as 12 pi over 6. So that 11 pi over 6 is somewhere over here in quadrant uh, 4. So this angle here is 11 pi over 6. So the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. So that's going to be this angle here. Okay. So to get from 11 pi over 6 to 12 pi over 6, it's pi over 6. Okay, it's really important to know the definition. So then what we do is we find the trig function values for pi over 6, and then, you, then we use the fact we're in quadrant 4 to determine the signs. So I have these memorized. I usually have uh, you know, pi over 3 and pi over 6 and pi over 4. I have all of these memorized. So uh, the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. It's worth memorizing these. So if you memorize one, you can get the rest, because uh, whenever um, sine is, is, is one half, cosine is the other one. It's the square root of three over two. They always alternate, right? They always alternate. So between one half and square root of three over two. And then to find tangent, all you have to do, you don't have to memorize it. You just have to divide these. So if you do one half divided by the square root of three over two, that's one half times two over square root of three. That's one over the square root of three. Beautiful stuff. Okay, and then uh, the reciprocals are easy. You just flip these. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So cosecant. Easy trick. It starts with the other letter, right? So S and then C, other letter. So it would be 2 over 1, so 2. Uh, the secant of pi over 6, that would be 2 over the square root of 3. And then the cotangent of pi over 6, that would be the square root of 3 over 1, so just square root of 3. Okay, now we're in quadrant four. So if you recall, um, cosine of an angle has the x, and sine of an angle has the y. So over here, cosine is positive, because the x-coordinate is positive, and uh, the y-coordinate is negative over here, because it's down below. So cosine is positive and sine is negative. Okay, so sine is negative. So now the sine of 11 pi over six all you do is put a negative sign on this. So it's negative 1 half. And we said cosine was positive. So cosine of 11 pi over 6, that's going to remain uh, positive, square root of 3 over 2. Then tangent of 11 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6. Um, we're going to divide the negative and positive, so that's going to give us a negative. So negative 1 over root 3. Then cotangent will also be negative because we're just flipping it. So cotangent of 11 pi over 6 is negative root 3. And let's see, cosecant of 11 pi over 6, that's going to be negative 2. And lastly, uh, the secant of 11 pi over 6, that's going to be 2 over the square root of 3. Kind of rushed through that because I don't have much time, but um, hopefully that made sense. So first thing you do, really, really quick recap is you find the reference angle, then you find the trig function values for the reference angle, then you use the fact that cosine has the x and sine has the y to determine uh, whether or not uh, your answer should be positive or negative. Hope that made sense.